so hello everyone welcome to this uh, new video of uh, network analysis uh, playlist so network analysis we already we have started uh, in our previous video those who have not seen you can see it okay we have brushed up with some of the basic concepts of the network analysis now we are going to continue with those basic concepts only okay after that we then from the next session we are going to solve problems okay so now our first concept in this session is related to voltage sources connected in series so what would be the reaction of the circuit whenever the two of the voltage sources are in series okay when voltage sources are connected in series the terminal voltage would be the sum of the two voltages with condition that current ratings along the terminals are same okay that is the terminal voltage this is this is the terminal voltage here this whole terminal voltage would be the sum of the two voltages or and an, any number of voltages are there the, those all voltages would be added up between two terminals okay current ratings along the terminals are same that is provided the current through these terminals are constant they won't be changing okay yeah that is v is equal to v1 plus v2 so this is one simple circuit between two terminals i have written the two of the voltage sources in series okay in order to reduce this to a single voltage source we should be adding them up so this is the reduced part that is plus minus v is equal to v1 plus v2 okay yeah so, the, so this is in case of plus minus similarly i have written in case of minus plus one is whenever we have minus plus v1 plus v2 then what we can write these two polarities are same or of same kind this is plus minus plus minus no change here also minus plus minus plus no change whenever the polarities are not exchanged we can directly should be adding them okay but in case whenever in when they are connected in series and the polarities are changed for both of the voltage sources that is this example you can see here between these two terminals we have two voltage sources one is plus minus and the one is minus plus two have different polarities in that case you should be subtracting the two voltage sources okay we should be keeping in mind whenever two voltage sources have same polarities we should be adding them when two voltage sources have different polarities we should be subtracting them so that's why we would be getting plus minus minus plus when we combine them together with a single voltage source you would be getting plus minus that is v is equal to v1 minus v2 apply implies that with the condition v1 is greater than v2 okay whenever the v1 voltage source is greater than v2 voltage source whatever the polarity v1 consists that only would be coming here okay when we reduce the circuit so this is one condition and another condition is whenever this v2 is greater that is whenever v2 is greater what we would be getting uh, whenever the voltage source is reduced the polarity of the reduced voltage source would be minus plus and v would be equal to v2 minus v1 implies that with the condition v2 is strictly greater than v1 okay so these were some of the basics that is voltage sources whenever they are connected in series these things or these parameters you should be knowing in mind one more condition is whenever voltage sources are in shunt or parallel this shunt or parallel it is one and the same whenever voltage sources are connected in shunt the voltage rating must be same irrespective of the change in the current that is whenever voltage series uh, sources are connected in parallel in a circuit that is the both of the voltage sources can be combined with a single voltage source uh, provided that both the voltage sources are same that is v1 equal to v2 so here we have given one simple example two is two voltage sources are in shunt v1 v2 so that's why we can write v is equal to v1 equal to v2 okay this this uh, voltage sources in shunt won't be coming into picture okay also this current sources in series won't be coming into picture the two parameters which you need to be keeping in mind is one is voltage sources connected in series and another one is current sources connected in parallel those two you should be understanding thoroughly because those two concepts are only very important in order to so make you solve the problems next is current sources in series when current sources are connected in series the current rating would be the same irrespective of the change in the voltage rate that is the current rating is the same this uh, this time that is whenever we have between two terminals current sources like this i1 and i2 we can say that uh, we can combine these two and write as a single current source that those two current sources would be equal similarly how voltage sources whenever they are in parallel and current sources whenever they are in series we can say that those two currents and voltage sources are equal okay so this is one part next is very important guys current sources in parallel whenever current sources are connected in parallel the current rate would be the sum of the two current sources 
with the condition that voltage ratings must be the same this time whenever the current sources are in parallel the current sources the two of the current sources would be getting added up that is i is equal to i1 plus i2 with the condition that the voltage ratings must be the same that is the voltage would be remaining constant okay ha uh, so however it is in the voltage source those only that only conditions would be applying in current sources but this time there are in connected in parallel okay so that's the here these are the two terminals a and b and between these two terminals the current sources are connected in parallel here i1 and i2 you can see here and these two are having the same direction so that's why whenever they are there are reduced to a single current source i would be equal to i1 plus i2 okay similarly here both these current sources here are implied in a negative direction downward direction again the, the two of the current sources have the same direction so that's why in this downward direction only the current would be again added up but similarly we have two current sources in parallel with the two of the different direction one is upward and downward then again the same thing what we did for voltage sources in series that is the current should be subtracted okay that is whenever i i is equal to i2 minus i1 whenever this i2 is greater than i1 okay so our resultant current source whenever reduced current source is downwards here because i2 is the greater current similarly i is equal to i1 minus i2 with the condition that i1 greater than i2 and when in that case this would be our greater source that is i1 so hope uh, you understood these concepts so now let's see some of the simple circuits and equivalent reduced circuits okay so so that you should be clear about the concept simple circuits first circuit here between the terminals a and b okay we have here two resistances and two voltage sources all these four components are connected in series okay two resistances are r1 and r2 two voltage sources and v1 and v2 with which are having the same polarity you can see here plus minus plus minus right so how to reduce we should be applying the conditions of resistors in series also voltage sources in series which are already discussed resistors in series we have already discussed in our previous video voltage sources connected in series how to reduce these two voltage sources into a single source i have told you right the polarities are same so that's why in order to reduce it to a single voltage source we should be adding them up that is v this would be now v is equal to v1 plus v2 okay write the condition here v equal to v1 plus v2 then again resistances are in series whenever the resistances are in series we should be adding them so that's why write one single equivalent resistance name it as capital r that capital r is equal to r1 plus r2 so this is the equivalent reduced circuit for this circuit similarly let's see the second one here so here we have parallel connection here that is i1 r1 i2 r2 so these four components are connected parallel between these two terminals a and b okay so here again ap apply the condition of current sources in parallel so you can see that we have two current sources i1 and i2 in parallel also the direction of those two current sources are the same so that's why we should be adding those two current sources and we should be writing it as i is equal to i1 plus i2 okay uh, and uh, replace it with a single current source similarly we have two resistances in parallel whenever we have two resistances in parallel we would be getting our equivalent resistance as 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 that if we solve we would be getting this that is r2 r1 divided by r1 plus r2 okay hope this is clear so this is the uh, equivalent reduced circuit so let's see for the third one so here we have a complicated circuit here as you can see between these two terminals we have two branches parallel branches we have along with that in two of the parallel branches we have one voltage source along with one resistance that is v1 r1 v2 r2 so how to reduce this circuit is we can not directly do it because we have two of the voltage sources in parallel okay so in order to reduce it we should be consider doing step by step that is first what we should be doing is in order to reduce this kind of circuit we have two branches here right in this branch we have voltage sources along with one resistance here also we have one voltage source along with one resistance so how to do is we can replace this branch by current source and resistance how to do is 
we know that whenever voltage source is connected through a resistance in series in order to convert this branch into a current source in resistance uh, connected through a resistance in parallel how to do is we should be applying the ohms law that is in order to replace this voltage source through a current source this v1 would be now replaced by i1 with the positive polarity like this upwards and this r1 now since this when, when when it was a voltage source it was connected in series now it is replaced by a current source it should be connected in parallel through this current source because with the current source the resistances will not be in series okay similarly for this branch do the same thing this voltage source replaced by one current source i2 plus minus so this also you should be writing it as plus minus only this upward direction arrow indicates arrow head indicates plus and arrow tail indicates minus hope you might be knowing this and this resistance you should be connected in parallel now again we should be trying to reduce this we these two are in parallel and the same direction so this would be i1 plus i2 these two are in parallel r1 r2 r1 plus r2 finally in order to reduce this circuit also what we should be doing is these two are one current source along with one parallel resistance in order to reduce it through a voltage source along with series resistance this you should be converting into one voltage source here plus v again and this uh, when uh, it, this is connected to one voltage source this would be connected in series so in this way we should be reducing the circuit okay similarly the reversal reverse process here this is one one more complex circuit which i have uh, drawn between the terminals a and b we have two separate branches here we have what one current source and parallel resistances so here first i have told you like how i have done it for this previous one same thing you should be doing here this branch converted to this current source converted to one voltage source and this current source converted to one voltage source seeing the polarity check the polarity so here we have plus minus so here also we should be writing plus minus and these two branches are connected through the same line so that's why whenever the, this how in order to reduce this the current source we should be connect, uh, converting into a voltage source v1 and we know that whenever we have one voltage source the resistance would be in series similarly for this also the resistance and the voltage source would be in series now together we can see that in this whole branch all these components are in series so voltage source add them up v1 plus v2 uh, resistances in series we should be adding them r1 plus r2 so in this way we should be reducing okay so these all reduction which you have done right this all comes under one topic called as source transformation okay that only which i have discussed here last two examples that is source transformation that is we should be converting current source into a voltage source or voltage source into a current source okay keeping the keeping in mind the resistance and the value of resistance and main picture you should be remembering is the equation v equal to ir i equal to v by r okay these two would be coming under ohm's law okay these equations you should be remembering in order to solve these kind of problems okay so this was the brief description about the, the circuits here that is a uh, voltage source two parameters i have told you to remember that is one is voltage sources connected in series and current sources connected in parallel always okay so this comes under the co topic called as source transformation this some of the basics which i have told okay so that's all for this session guys from the next session onwards we are going to solve problems related to this source transformation okay so be ready for that guys hope you understood some of the concepts which i have told in this video like share subscribe to our channel and uh, be updated for the upcoming videos share this channel and share this playlist to a huge number with all your friends those who are having backlog and those who are studying in the current third sem okay support us guys like this video thank you